Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can use TeamViewer on your computer and mobile phone. Let's say you have a PC and you want to connect to another computer at a different place and control that device right from your PC. You can do that using TeamViewer. So in this video, we are going to see how you can use TeamViewer and access any computer like this. It's that easy. Next, you will also be able to send and receive files from your client's computer to your computer. So you can also chat with your client like this to provide assistance or fix issues on their computer. Now the best part is that you can also easily install TeamViewer on your mobile phone so that you can connect with any computer and access the files you want anytime with just a mobile in your hand. Okay, so all you need to have is a working computer and an internet connection to access to any computer in the world. I'm Brian from Upstate Learners and let's get started. So to use TeamViewer, first we need to install TeamViewer on our computer. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now this is the official website where you can download TeamViewer for free. And here you will find different kinds of operating systems for which the TeamViewer is available. You can select the one you are using on your computer and then click download. Now as you can see, Windows is already selected here. So I am going to click download. And you can see that the TeamViewer file has been downloaded. Now to install TeamViewer, just click on that file and you will get these options. Now select default installation and click accept. Now check this box and then click continue. So now we have successfully installed TeamViewer on your computer. Once you have installed TeamViewer, next let's see how you can connect to your client's PC. Now to connect to your client's PC, first they need to have TeamViewer quick support on their computer. Now this is the version of TeamViewer that your client needs to open so that you can get access to their computer. So to launch TeamViewer quick support, all you need to do is just share the link below this video to your client. Now if the client clicks on the link, they will get this page where they can download TeamViewer quick support. So let's click download and the file will be downloaded. Now if they open it, check this box and click continue. Now you can see that TeamViewer has now been launched on their computer. This means you cannot connect to their computer and fix their issue. Now in order to connect to your client's computer, you need to enter your partner ID and password. A partner ID is a unique number given to a computer once TeamViewer is installed on it. Now this is the number which you need to use to connect to your client's PC. So let's click here, enter the partner ID and click connect. Now enter this password here and click log on. And as you can see, we are successfully connected to our client's PC. This means that you can access the entire computer and open any folder or file you want right from your computer. Once you've connected to your client's PC, what if you want to contact your client through TeamViewer and discuss about the service they need. So to do that, just click communicate and you will get these options. Now you can use any of these options to talk to the client. Now I'm going to use the chat option. So let's click here. Now type your message here. Click send and you can see that the client has received our message. Now they can click here, type their reply, click send and you can see that we have got a reply. So this is how you can communicate with your client through TeamViewer. Okay, next let's say you need to transfer a file from your computer to your client's computer. How can you do that? So to transfer files, just click files and extras, select open file transfer and you will find all the folders available on your computer and on your client's computer. Now here you can transfer any file from your computer to your client's computer. All you have to do is just go to the file you want to transfer from your computer. Now this is the file which I want to transfer. Now once you've reached your file, next you select the destination folder where you want that file to be transferred. Now just select the file you want to send. Click send and the file will be sent. Now if we check our client's computer, you can see that they have received our file. Okay, so now you know how to connect to your client's PC and transfer files to it. Now let's say you are in another place far from your computer 
and no one is near your computer to access it for you. How will you access your computer? You can do that by setting up unattended access. Now, as you saw earlier, to connect to your client's PC, you need their partner ID and password, which means your client has to share these details with you to connect to their PC. Now, by setting up unattended access, you don't need their partner ID or password to connect to their computers. Instead, you can access the computer just by selecting it on TeamViewer. With unattended access, you can connect to your own computer anytime and from anywhere, even if there's no one near your PC to share the ID or password with you. Okay, so to set up unattended access, let's open TeamViewer and you will find these two options for unattended access. Let's enable these two options. Now here you can see that we need to enter the details of our TeamViewer account. Now if you don't have an account, just click create account. Fill up these details. Now click next. And you can see that we need to activate a TeamViewer account through mail. So let's click finish. And you will get this message. Now if you click assign. It will link your computer to the team viewer account you just created now. So now we have successfully created the team viewer account, which means you can easily connect to this computer and access your files from any device just by logging into your team viewer account. So to check it, let's open team viewer on another computer. Click computers and contacts. And you will get this page. Now here you need to enter the details of the team viewer account. So enter your email ID and password. And click sign in. Now as you can see here, we have got a confirmation email for this device. So let's click OK. Then go to our inbox. And you can see we've got our mail. Now open it. Now to allow our new PC to access the home computer anytime, just click add to trusted devices. Click trust. And you can see that we have confirmed a new PC and added it to our TeamViewer account. Now let's close this page. Enter the password again in TeamViewer. And click sign in. Now click my computers. And here you can see we have a computer where we have set up unattended access. So to connect to it, all you need to do is just double click on it. And as you can see, we are successfully connected to our computer. You can open any folder and access the files you want. So now you know how to set up unattended access and easily access your files. Next, let's say you're traveling somewhere and you don't have your computer with you, but you want to access a file on your computer. So how can you connect to your computer? You can do that easily by using TeamViewer on your mobile phone. So now let's see how you can use TeamViewer on your mobile phone and access any computer. So to do that, first, you need to install the TeamViewer app on your mobile. Once it is installed, let's open it. And like we did before, enter the partner ID and password of your home computer. So let's enter this partner ID here. Click remote control. Now enter this password here. Then click OK. And you can see that we have connected our mobile to our home computer. Now just tap here. Now to access the files on your computer, just click here and you can browse through your files. To open any file, just tap on it. Once you're done, and it'll be opened. Let's see how you can... Okay, so now you know how you can connect to any computer on your mobile device using TeamViewer. Now, if you're using TeamViewer for your personal work, you can continue using the free version of TeamViewer, which you saw earlier in the video. With the free version, you can connect to any computer communicate with your partner at the other end, transfer files, set up unattended access, and connect to your mobile phone. But if you want to use TeamViewer for your business, you will find that the free version of TeamViewer has limited features and some restrictions where you can't connect to multiple devices and the duration of your session is less. So if you want to get more features like remotely turning on your computer, keeping your sessions hidden, and unlimited session time, you can get the premium version of TeamViewer for your business by purchasing a subscription. To do that, just click the link below this video and it will take you to the page with different plans. You can choose any plans based on your business. 
and click buy now to purchase the subscription. So that's it guys. This is how you can use Team Uber on your computer. Now if you want to know how to use the Zoom meeting app to conduct live meeting with your clients, you can watch this video. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.